Hey everybody, it's Ben here and today I'm doing a little bit of work on this old Mercedes diesel engine. This is the engine that I'm planning on using for my uh, diesel electric pickup truck uh, concept vehicle, which unfortunately it's been kind of a back burner project for me. It's something I'm really excited about, but at the same time, I really don't know a whole lot about diesels. I really don't have a budget and uh, a lot of the friends that I have who have those kind of skills, I'm sort of dependent on um, you know their schedule and availability. So I'm just chipping away on this project as I can. And for example, one thing I know I need to do is up upgrade the glow plugs on this engine here. Um, these originally came with glow plugs that they were uh, designed to run in a series. But if one burned out, that meant none of them worked. So today I'm gonna upgrade those to a pencil type uh, parallel glow plug, uh, which I ordered from Mercedes Source. Um, the guy, Ken, who runs that, has a lot of really good YouTube videos, so I've been uh, watching some of those to learn about diesel engines. So let's take a look at upgrading the glow plugs. Okay, so here we are looking at the uh, kind of the intake side of the engine. We've got the fuel injectors on this side and the glow plugs on this side. So here's one of the original glow plugs. I already have the wire removed. I already have it loosened just so we can take a look at it. Um, so basically electricity goes through there and it goes through a, a electrical resistance and that creates heat so that the cylinder is nice and warm and the engine will start up right away. But let's go compare this to one of the new ones. So here's the, uh, the two different glow plugs for comparison. Here's the older style one, which you just saw with the little loop. And part of the reason why it's a loop is so that the uh, current flow can come back out to this end. There's actually a porcelain insulator between the outer and the inner part. So that's what lets uh, current flow on to the, uh, the next one. Here's the new style. So it's shaped like a pencil instead of a loop. And then the other thing that it does is it's connected uh, in parallel instead of in series. Um, I ordered these from a uh, Mercedes source. Seemed like a pretty good, reputable place for this old Mercedes stuff. And it came with a kind of a nice little guide. So um, I'm going to more or less just follow these directions for putting in the new glow plugs. Um, this came as a kit. This is a four cylinder. So I've got four glow plugs. Uh, and then also the wires to uh, connect between them. Because apparently the old style uh, wires are actually resistance wires. And uh, these new ones, these are just normal. They just. Uh, pass the electricity through without otherwise modifying it. So it looks like one of the first things I need to do is remove those uh, hard lines from the fuel injectors to make some space to work. Here's the hard lines on the fuel injection pump. I already got the first one loosened up here. So all I'm going to do is take my uh, 17 millimeter wrench, get in here and gently loosen those up. And I expect a little fuel to come out, so I got a, got a rag handy. Now I did just find that it's a little bit hard to remove this one here with uh, this one in the way, but by taking off the first two and then also off the top, I can get this out of the way and now I should be able to get at this one. I also found a, uh, just happened to find an old Mercedes-Benz wrench and it's a little narrower than the wrench I was using so it seems to fit here a little better. So just taking off that uh, right hard line there. And this is a 17 millimeter wrench that I'm using for removing the fuel, uh, fuel injector hardline connections here. So now I can loosen the uh, cylinder end of these connections here. And then once that's off, I can get the entire, the hard line for those first two cylinders out of there. So now that I made a little bit of room by removing uh, those uh, fuel injector lines, it's a lot easier to get at all of this back here. And I'm just going to use an 8 millimeter wrench to uh, take off the little end connector that holds that uh, electrical connection on. And then I can remove the, uh, those wires between the glow plugs. So that one right there, for example. And 
Here's another one. And on the Alaska low plug, this one right down here, um, it's got a braided cord going to the engine block. So that's a ground, but rewiring it, we're not going to use that. So I'll take off the connection on the end, and then uh, we'll also just pull that wire out of the way, off to the side, and we're not going to be using it anymore. And then that last wire connecting those two glow plugs, that can come out too. According to the information I have, uh, these are supposed to use a 19 millimeter wrench, but that seems exactly wrong. So I'm just gonna have to make do with a uh, adjustable wrench here to get you started. And then after that, I can use just a slightly oversized socket and that should be okay. I'm not wrenching on these too hard. Okay, here's another one. I just pulled the little oil cap here out of the way to make it easier to get at this one. And now I can take this out. This uh, number two cylinder would have been really hard to get at without uh, taking out those uh, fuel injection hard lines. Now here's an interesting problem on the uh, the very end glow plug, which this was the one that went to the uh, little ground strap to the uh, the engine block. Um, I can't get it out. You know, it, it spins, spins just fine, but I, I can't pull it out. And it took me a minute to realize that the center part wasn't spinning, just this outside part. So I might have to use a vice grips or something. But it's possible there's just carbon all built up in there that it's embedded in there. I think that this one here, because it's the one that goes to engine block, I think this may be the one that burns the hottest, so it might be all carboned up in there. I don't know, but I'm going to take a vice grips, put it on there, see if I can get it to turn. Well, apparently a vice grips is a good way to break that tip off. Okay, well, it looks like I'm a little stumped here. Um, unfortunately, this glow plug did not pull out the way I was expecting it to, and then uh, me trying to get it out with the vice grips just broke that little end piece off. So looks like um, I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time figuring out how to get that out. Okay, what we're looking at here is the, uh, the hole for the glow plug. It's second to the right. And uh, it's kind of hard to get the camera in the best position to see this, but I'm hoping with moving the flashlight, you can. Uh, there's a lot of carbon buildup in there. And I've heard that it's good when you uh, change the glow plugs to um, use a reamer. And I think that's what I'll do. I'll either buy or build some sort of a reamer for clearing that carbon out. And that may have been what happened on that very first uh, glow plug. Maybe it got so gunked up with carbon that uh, it just kind of went solid. I can't get it out because of that. Okay, that was uh, really, really stuck in there. Again, this is the uh, um, glow plug closest to the end. Originally went to the little ground strap to the engine block. And uh, the outside here would rotate, but I, I couldn't actually get it out. So I spent, oh, probably 15 minutes playing around with the couple different styles of pry bars because I figured I was out past the threads I wouldn't hurt the threads and maybe if I could just pry on it I could get it out so just a moment ago I got it to pop out so we can take a look at it for the first time here and yeah it looks like there's just a bunch of carbon gunk on the end there and it was all kind of coked up it wouldn't come out yeah it's just like uh, kind of crumbly icky carbon on the end there. Now I'll grab a little flashlight, take a look in the hole, see what I can see. Now I know it's uh, not going to be too easy to look in there from the video camera, but uh, that's definitely the most gunked up one. It, uh, it was all carboned up, so I'm going to have to come up with some sort of a reamer or something, get that cleaned up really good. Well, here's the, uh, the original glow plugs, and I just wanted to show you more or less how they were mounted in the engine. The engine's from a uh, 1976 Mercedes 240D diesel engine. Uh, four cylinders, four glow plugs. This one was really hard to get out, and I broke the tip right off. 
but uh, normally the way these things work is that they're all in series, so they don't actually go to the engine block. They go from a wire to this one, through the little loop and around back, through the resistor wire, through the loop and around back, through the wire, through the loop, around back. And then just at the end, this one was grounded to the engine block. So if you look at these, there's actually, this is a ceramic uh, insulator. So that uh, it separates the two wires. So this is kind of neat how this works. So if you take the little nut off the end, see these two wires are separated by that ceramic insulator. And then in the glow plug itself, kind of this part and this part are electrically isolated from each other. So the uh, power comes in, it goes down through the loop, and then back, and then on to the next one. So on the, uh, the newer style glow plugs, though, it's not going to do that. It's just going to go from uh, in, uh, you know, basically the, uh, in uh, parallel. So every single one of these is going to go from the 12 volt power to the engine block and create heat. And then if one goes bad, uh, that's okay. The other ones are still going to work. With these, with them all in a row, if one goes bad, it breaks the circuit and none of them works. So a little harder to troubleshoot and you got to pull them all out to figure out which one's the bad one. But since I broke this one and uh, all those holes are kind of carboned up, I think the next thing I have to do is uh, get a reamer or something, clean that out, and then I'll be able to install the new glow plugs and the new wiring for them. So I think that's it. See you next time.